These are some pictures Orange County officials gave us sent to them by concerned people and part of the reason why they're considering now fining businesses. Certainly it's concerning. Tim and, Boldig uh, leads the county's COVID strike teams, which inspect yeah. businesses in particular watching for masks inside. From what we're out there is looking for uh, the posters, uh, the signage for requiring of face coverings and that the fact that you have uh, staff and patrons uh, uh, wearing the face coverings when they're in there. County Mayor Jerry Dimming said yesterday he's asking the county attorney to draft an executive order. That will likely give me the authority to institute some form of penalties. You might wonder how they can do that since the governor suspended COVID related fines, but that executive order specifically mentioned penalties on individuals. We still do have the ability to and act some penalties directly on businesses. Recently, two clubs are getting the most attention, Guilt on Bennett Road and Fuego on South OBT. Authorities say they've seen videos showing large maskless crowds inside. We went to both clubs today. Each had social distancing and mask reminders. An employee at Fuego told me they've been at 75% capacity and do require masks. Now, if the county does go with fines, there's no word yet on how much or exactly what would trigger them, but the mayor says they'd be for habitual offenders. I've asked for voluntary compliance, and uh, if we have a few bad actors, that's who we'll be targeting. So again, still a lot to be worked out about how exactly those fines will work, but I'm told that if they are imposed, it will likely be related to the mask mandate because that is what Orange County has jurisdiction over. Reporting live downtown Orlando, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.